Well, how does this change Australia's defence place in the world? Well, if this goes ahead, so first of all, it doesn't help us over the next decade, or it helps us in the sense that the Americans are more involved with this, but it doesn't give us new capability. So the Defence Strategic Review, which comes out in early April, is still absolutely critical. But if this goes ahead, and it's by no means guaranteed, but it's got the best chance of anything we've ever heard going ahead, uh, when we have eight nuclear submarines, we'll be one of the most powerful navies in the world. There is nothing equivalent to a nuclear submarine. They are the ace predator, the beast of the seas. They can destroy, you know, all through combat. We've seen even inferior old submarines destroy surface fleets. Um, eight nuclear-powered submarines, the enemy or any potential enemy has no idea where they are. These will have, um, you know, the Virginias and then the, the uh, AUKUS subs will have vertical launch cells as well as uh, torpedo tubes. They'll be able to launch missiles over the horizon. Uh, they'll be able to go up and kill you and then run away at very high speed, which a conventional sub couldn't do. They'll be able to mine the harbour of an adversary. They're great hub uh, sub hunters. They're the best anti-sub uh, machine in the world. And the Chinese have caught the Americans in a number of technologies, but one area that they're at least 15 years behind is in nuclear submarines. So we will have the most powerful naval weapons in the world. Now, that, that's not the whole of our defence force. That's not even the weight of our defence force. But is, it is a supreme capability. And as your lead-in said, we'll be one of only seven nations, unless Brazil gets there as well, to operate this kind of technology. And well, a lot of the other nations, even France and China and so on, they won't be operating boats anywhere near as good as the Virginias. Well, tell me about this sub-hunting. Does a situation arise where this Australian vessel sees a Chinese vessel doing some surveillance or whatever and chases it away? Does, does it work like that? How does it work? Yeah, it can do that or, or it can destroy it. Uh, so the subs... The, the Virginia-class submarine is perhaps the most complex artefact which the human race has produced in all its history. So it is, incidentally, a fantastic thing for Australian manufacturing and everything. I was always in favour of that, but I, I, didn't want to, I didn't want to wait 25 years to get a submarine. But submarines are very hard to detect. You do a lot of things to try to detect them with uh, anti-submarine frigates and towed array sonars and helicopters and all the rest of it, but the truth is they're very hard to detect. The best thing for detecting them is another submarine. The sensor array on a Virginia-class submarine is the most sophisticated and extensive and long-ranging in the world. Nothing is more likely to detect an enemy sub than a Virginia sub. Now, you don't necessarily chase it away, but God forbid, everything we do is to avoid conflict. But in the event of conflict, uh, the Virginia simply kills the adversary. It just uh, right. puts a torpedo through its guts and that's it. Just very briefly, they're already talking about defence cuts to pay for this, and that's only in the first four years. So what projects can be cut? Well, eventually, the government's very clear defence spending will have to rise. But we spend $50 billion a year on defence, and it's quite legitimate. So they're going to use the $6 billion over the forward estimates that they were going to use on the French sub towards this, and then it's going to cost them $3 billion on top of that. I think the Defence Strategic Review will also recommend more expenditure, so we're going to have to cut quite a lot of things. But the truth is there's a lot of rubbish in the defence uh, uh, portfolio. So, Andrew, you'll be astonished to hear me say this. Throw away the tanks. Cut, cut the order for future <laughs> tanks. Don't spend another dollar on tanks. Give all our existing tanks to Ukraine where they can be used. Cut the order for heavy armour infantry. Heavy armour infantry has no role in the maritime uh, struggles that we face. I mean, I wonder whether we need to build our own satellites. Uh, um, buying time on American satellites uh, might be um, might be good enough. And um, in the in the uh, in the long run, though, the Defence Strategic Review will recommend programs which will commence in the period of forward estimates and which will cost a lot of money subsequently. And the government, the Albanese government, keeps saying it's committed to increasing the defence budget across time. And I think they'll have to do that. But defence wastes so much money, it's got to get rid of all the waste first.
Greg Sheridan, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Thanks, Andrew.